electron beam computed tomography. Electron beam tomography EBCT, was introduced in the early 1980s by medical physicist Andrew Castanini. It is a method of improving the temporal resolution of CT scanners. Because the X-ray source has to rotate by over 180 degrees in order to capture an image the technique is inherently unable to capture dynamic events or movements that are quicker than the rotation time. Instead of rotating a conventional X-ray tube around the patient, the EBCT machine houses a huge vacuum tube in which an electron beam is electromagnetically steered towards an array of tungsten X-ray anodes arranged circularly around the patient. Each anode is hit in turn by the electron beam and emits X-rays that are collimated and detected as in conventional CT. The lack of moving parts allows very quick scanning, with single slice making the technique ideal for capturing images of the heart. EBCT has found particular use for assessment of coronary artery calcium, a means of predicting risk of coronary artery disease. Spiral or helical computed tomography. Helical, also called spiral, CT was introduced in the early 1990s, with much of the development led by Willy Callender and Kazuhiro Katada. In older CT scanners, the X-ray source would move in a circular fashion to acquire a single slice, once the slice had been completed, the scanner table would move to position the patient for the next slice, meanwhile the X-ray source slash detectors would reverse direction to avoid tangling their cables. In helical CT the X-ray source are attached to a freely rotating gantry. During a scan, the table moves the patient smoothly through the scanner, the name derives from the helical path traced out by the X-ray beam. It was the development of two technologies that made helical CT practical, slip rings to transfer power and data on and off the rotating gantry, and the switched mode power supply powerful enough to supply the X-ray tube, but small enough to be installed on the gantry. Multi-slice computed tomography Multi-slice CT scanners are similar in concept to the helical or spiral CT but there are more than one detector ring. It began with two rings in mid-90s, with a two solid state ring model designed and built by l -Sint, Haifa, called CT Twin, with one second rotation. Later, it was presented for 8, 16, 32, 40, and 64 detector rings, with increasing rotation speeds. Current models, 2007, have up to three rotations per second, and isotropic resolution of 0.35 mm voxels with z-axis scan speed of up to 18 cm s. This resolution exceeds that of high-resolution CT techniques with single-slice scanners, yet it is practical to scan adjacent, or overlapping, slices, however, image noise and radiation exposure significantly limit the use of such resolutions. The major benefit of multi-slice CT is the increased speed of volume coverage. This allows large volumes to be scanned at the optimal time. The ability of multi-slice scanners to achieve isotropic resolution even on routine studies means that maximum image quality is not restricted to images in the axial plane, and studies can be freely viewed in any desired plane. Dual Source Computed Tomography Siemens introduced a CT model with dual X-ray tube and dual array of 64 slice detectors, at the 2005 Radiological Society of North America RSNA, medical meeting. Dual sources increase the temporal resolution by reducing the rotation angle required to acquire a complete image, thus permitting cardiac studies without the use of heart rate lowering medication, as well as permitting imaging of the heart in systole. The use of two X-ray units makes possible the use of dual energy imaging. 